What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own outro for your YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to play on the screen what the outro is going to look like. You can obviously customize it along the way, but this is just a general gist of what you're going to be getting. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop, and then go to File, and New, and we're going to create a new file. Now, the width and height are going to depend on the size of your video, so if you upload 720p videos, it's going to be 1280 by 720 and if you upload videos in 1080p, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 So I'm going to leave it in 720p. Make sure that the background contents are set to transparent, and then click OK. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a background for the outro. So you can obviously import any backgrounds that you want from Google Images or anything, but we're just going to make a simple gradient one. So we're going to go to the rectangle tool, make sure there's no stroke, and then just draw a rectangle around the entire document like so and we are going to make it purple or actually we're going to leave it we can make it any color because we're going to be putting a gradient on top of it so now what we're going to do is go ahead and right click on the rectangle layer and go to blending options and then go to gradient overlay and then click on gradients and then i'm going to select the one that has two fades so it's going to be this one and then to edit the gradient you can just double click on it and click on the gradient slider and then this editor is going to pop up and what you can do is obviously slide around these to change where the gradient is going to take place and if you double click on these little pencils you can change the color of the gradient so I'm going to double click on it and make it more of a purple so um, I think this is a pretty nice purple I'm going to copy that color code double click on the other one paste that in and then make the middle one a light, a lighter purple, so it's like a purple gradient. Uh, we're going to make it... This one looks really nice. So I'm going to click OK. And we have our background. Also, once again, keep in mind, this is going to be your outro, so you can use any background. You don't have to make it a purple gradient. I'm just showing you the elements you need to make your own outro. You can obviously use any background you want. But the next step we're going to do is go ahead and actually put in a box to put the video inside of. So we are going to select the rectangle tool. You can make the fill anything because your video is going to be going on top of it. So I'm just going to make it a dark gray. And then I'm going to make the stroke a lighter gray. And make the stroke 5PT. Now once again, it can be anything you wish. And then just click on the layer. And make sure the width is set to 426 by 240. So that's 240p. So it's still going to be in 16 by 9. And then click OK. And that's the box that we're going to use to put our video into. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. Now, the inside color can be anything like I said. You can even have no fill if you don't want to have a fill because that's where your video is going to go. And I'm just going to make the stroke a bit bigger so that you can really see it when the video is still inside of the box. So I'm going to make it, I think 8PT is nice. So there we go. You can also add effects to the actual video borders. So I'm going to right click on this second rectangle, go to blending options, and then go to drop shadow and give it a drop shadow with the opacity 100, distance 0, spread 22%, and size 22%. I think that looks pretty good, and the video really will stand out. Now what we can do is go ahead and add some text to the outro, so you know, it can say previous video or random video, so we're going to select the text tool, just click on the layer, and then I'm going to use the font Aldo the Apache. You can use any font, and I'm going to set the font to 80 points and then just type in previous, like so. Um, I'll make it a bit bigger. Of course, it's all about experimenting. So yeah, I think 90 looks better. And I could just drag it here and put it here, but what we're going to be doing is actually aligning it just so it's more aligned and it looks more professional. So what you wanna do is click Control and then click on the video border layer. So if I do that, it's actually going to select that layer. And then what you wanna do is make sure that the text layer is selected, go to layer, Align layer selection and horizontal centers. What this is going to do is horizontally align the text to the video border like so. And then as you can see, it is now horizontally aligned. Now we're going to go ahead and add some actual effects to the text just like we did to the video border. So right click on the text, go to blending options, go to gradient overlay. And I'm just going to select the black and white gradient and just set the opacity down to 10%. So it's kind of metallic looking, kind of like the video border. And I think I'm also going to add a drop shadow 
Once again, opacity 100, distance 0, and then spread 22, and size 22. And I think that looks pretty good. So this outro is really starting to look like an outro now. And what we can do now is go ahead and add some social media links. So the first thing we're going to do is want to find some icons. Now I have a really nice place where you can actually find a t variety of different icons that can suit your outro. So you want to go ahead and you want to go on vandalitedesign.com slash free dash social dash media dash icons. Now I'm going to link it down in the description so you can find it easily. But basically what it does, what this website does is it shows you a bunch of free social media icons you can use. So you can use any of these icons in your outro. So I really like the simple flat social media icons right here. So I'm going to go ahead, click on that, and then actually just download the file. And I'm going to have access to all of these icons. So just scroll down until you see the download button, click that, and it's going to download as a zip file. So I'm just gonna close everything and just drag that to my desktop and unzip it there. So you're going to right click it, go to extra files and then click OK. So once we've unzipped the files, you should have your social media icons downloaded. So now we're going to go ahead and just put it into our document by going to file, place, and then mine was in my desktop and it was called flat social media icons. So it's this folder and then in here you're going to find the icons. So I'm going to put in the Twitter one and then do the same thing with the YouTube icon. So once I have those two icons placed, I can go ahead and line them up. So what you want to do is actually go ahead and align them. So you don't want them misaligned like this. You want them aligned completely perfectly. So to do that, you can just control click on either one of the layers. So I'm going to control click on the Twitter layer and then select the opposite layer and then go to layer, align layer selection and the horizontal centers. And this is going to align the YouTube layer to the selected layer, which in this case is the Twitter one. Now that the social media icons have been aligned, we can resize them at the same time by just shift clicking on both of the layers and having them selected and then pressing Ctrl T and then pressing shift and resizing them both at the same time. So I like that size. I think that's going to look pretty good. So now that our icons are in place and they look pretty nice, we're going to go ahead and add some text so people know where to go on our Twitter and YouTube page. So I'm going to select the text tool, just click on the layer and then put in my Twitter which is at Ziovo underscore. I'm going to make the font 80, which I think looks pretty good. And then make one for my YouTube as well, which is going to be a slash Ziovo. And then just press the check mark. Now we're going to go ahead and just align the text layers to each other. So control click on one of them. So I'm going to control click on the add Ziovo text layer, which is going to select it. And then I'm going to select the other layer, go to layer, align layers to selection. And this time do left edges because we're going to align it from the left. And as you can see, they have been aligned. Now what we have to do is just go ahead and align each of these text layers to its corresponding social media layer. So once again, since we're aligning it to the social media layer, we're going to control click on it. So I'm going to control click on Twitter and make sure the add Ziovo layer is selected Then go to layer, align layers to selection and then vertical centers. And we're going to do the same thing for the YouTube one. So control click on the YouTube icon, go to the slash Ziovo text layer, go to layer, align layers to selection and then vertical centers. Okay, so now everything has finally been aligned and we're going to go ahead and add some effects to the text kind of like we did to the previous text. So we are going to right click, go to blending options, give it a gradient of 10% and then give it a drop shadow with opacity 100%, distance zero, spread 22, size 22, and then do the same thing for the other text layer. So blending options, gradient overlay, 10%, and once again, 100, 0, 22 spread, 22 size. And that doesn't look bad at all. We're also going to do the same thing to the social media layers. So once again, right click on them, blending options. You already know the drill and just add the drop shadows in. Now, like I said, you can choose what drop shadows you want and everything. This is just, I think this looks nice for this outro, but for your outro, you can choose anything you want. This is not mandatory. I'm just doing it because I think it would look best in this case. So there we go. 
Now, in this case, there's a bit of space on the right side of the outro, so I'm going to shift click on all of the layers. So the two text layers and the two social media icon layers, press Ctrl T and resize it all at once because it's still aligned, right? If I do it at once. So it's still aligned, but it just got bigger. And there we go. That looks pretty decent. So now that we've added three out of the four elements to our outro, it looks pretty complete. We have the background, the video elements area, as well as the social media icon area. Now, the final thing we need to do is just go ahead and, you know, add a subscribe button or, you know, your channel name, anything at the bottom, which is going to be the biggest, you know, text. And it's taking up half the outro. So what we're going to do is click on the layer and I'm going to just make it say subscribe. So I'm going to make the font size 150 and just type in subscribe like that. And we are going to horizontally align it to the layer. So to select the entire layer, press Control A, then go to Layer, Align Layer Selection, and Horizontal Centers. And now that it's centered, we're going to go ahead and add the same effects as we did to the other text. So I'm going to add a drop shadow and the gradient overlay. And there we go. That is the final product. Now what we have to do is just save our outro. So if you want to edit it later on, you'd want to go to File, Save, and save it as a Photoshop or PSD file so that you can edit it later on. But if you want to have an actual image rendered out, go to File, Save As, and then make sure it's either a JPEG or a PNG, and then save it wherever you want as whatever file name you want, as long as you know the format is JPEG or PNG. And then your outro is done. Now, of course, what you can do in your video editing software is add in the video you want for this video overlay area. But if you don't have, you know, a really advanced software where you can add in videos, what you can do is actually just add in maybe a thumbnail through Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Just go to File, Place, and then I keep my thumbnails in this folder. So I'm just going to find a random thumbnail. Da, da, da. All right, so we're going to just put in this thumbnail. And we are going to press Control T, Hold Shift, and then resize it so that it fits in this area. And then I'm just going to size it to fit like so uh, one sec all right there we go and of course right now it's kind of messing up the borders we're going to just drag the layer with the actual thumbnail and put it underneath the other layer so that the border is on top so there we go and yeah our outro is now complete so if you guys like this video and want more tutorials like this be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out